from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parsha of Team Communal Responsibility. We have here at the end of the Parsha story of the Egla Arufa. What was the story? There was a man who was killed. Body was found in the middle of nowhere, in between two cities. The court sends representatives all the way from Jerusalem. It's an important thing. A man has died. This is a serious issue. It requires judges from the Sanhedrin, the official Sanhedrin, maybe even the Kohen Gadol, maybe even the king has to come, according to different opinions in the Talmud and the Gemara and Sanhedrin, because something has happened. Something must be done. But now we don't know. How did he die? Why did he die? Did someone kill him? Where is the murderer? And they do this very bizarre ceremony. They, they take a, a heifer and they, they break its neck rather than slaughtering it, usually with any sort of sacrifice. You slaughter the animal. Here they break its neck. And all the farmers come around, you know, people in those days, most, mostly farmers, and come and they say, someone's breaking the neck of a, of, of a calf. It's very expensive. What, what's going on here? They say, oh, someone died. And, and we're not sure where it was. They measured and they determined that our city was the closest one. And, and now all, look at all these officials that came from Jerusalem to, uh, to see this uh, ceremony. And, uh, and, and they say, well, wait a second. You mean, you mean three nights ago, that guy? Wait a second. And maybe the Rabbi Barbanel suggests perhaps through this wild and crazy ceremony, maybe the murderer shall be found. But I'd like to focus on the words that are said by the elders when they sort of make a confessional over this, ca- uh, this, this, this uh, calf. They say, Our hands didn't spill this blood. Our eyes didn't see. What do you mean? What do they say? In what sense are they not guilty? Maybe they are guilty. The, 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 the people of the community, what sense would you think they would be guilty? And in what sense are they saying, no, we're not guilty? So Rashi famously says, that low patronu below, uh, below Levaya, Lamazonos, I don't think that we didn't, we let them go without anything uh, uh, that we, we uh, that, that we didn't provide them food when he went out of the town, that we didn't uh, escort him. Of course, when you, when you uh, have someone in your house, the rabbis say you have to give them five things. Number one, eating, drinking, escorting them out of town, provide them a place to stay for the night, and provide them gifts things that they may need for the road. So we did that. Don't think that we're somehow guilty. We, we did what we were supposed to do. That's how our Talmud uh, reads it. However, it's interesting in the Jerusalem Talmud, they say that that's how the people have, over there in Babylonia, that's how they explain it. But we here, over here, Hacha, in the land of Israel, we're patrin kraya behoreg. We say that it's not about what, uh, what we didn't do for the person who was killed. That's a different question. We say that they have to confess and they have to declare that they didn't do anything wrong regarding the murderer. In other words, you know why this man is dead? It's not because there was a murderer who, who came into our courts and we let him go scot-free. And that's why he was killed. So we have two views. What is the basic communal responsibility of the leaders of the community? Is it to see to it that the social welfare is taken care of? That as the Al-Sheikh says, you know, if you let someone go, you say, okay, you know, here you go. You, you, you go out into the field where, you know, we gave you lunch and now, good luck, have a nice life. And he has no food. If he has no food, he may go try to rob someone. And when he goes to rob someone, they may kill him in the process. And that's why he's dead. Why are there, why are there dead people, homeless people who die? Because you didn't provide the proper social welfare network that would, would allow, that would, in, 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 that, that would enable people to stay alive. You, you forced their hand into, into crime. And that's the responsibility. That's, that's the problem. The Yushalmi, the Jerusalem people, the people of the land of Israel, they say, uh, no, the main responsibility of the community is not the social welfare, that's it was the individual, that's a personal thing, 
the, the personal level, each, each individual has a responsibility to escort guests out, to provide drink and food, and uh, give people, let people sleep over, don't make them walk in the middle of the night. That's the personal responsibility. Why did the elders come? What were they doing? People from the Sanhedrin, great, great responsible leaders, what are they doing? They're declaring that our basic justice system, that's what the community is responsible. The community is responsible for the justice system. Did the justice system let someone out? They shouldn't have. And then he landed out becoming a murderer. Did the justice system let off this murderer of this man? And that's why we have this, this man in the middle of, of the field. That's the question. Uh, it, 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 the, as a matter of fact, you could ask a question, how do we even know that the, uh, that, how could the elders know whether people escorted their guests out of town or they didn't? We, we escorted everyone out of town. How do you know what they did? So really, in some ways, it's not really so much a confessional a declaration of what they didn't or what they did do in the past. But they're saying, in general, we want to declare that this is what we do around these parts. If, if we would know of someone like this, well, we don't know. Nobody knows what happened to this guy. But if we would know someone, we would escort him. We would provide food. We would walk him out of town. We would give him a, a place to stay for the night. And uh, this is their declaration. This debate as to what is the basic responsibility of the government, of the community, uh, is it more of a judicial responsibility? You know, we want to, when we have problems of crime, you get tough on crime. It's, it's, you solve everything through the courts. Or, you solve things through social welfare systems. Here, it's not a government-run program, but it's a program that every, every individual is supposed to participate in, that if someone is in need, you provide them food, drink, uh, gifts, you escort them, you give them a night's, a night's stay in your home. So it's, it's a communal program for individuals, but it's a social, uh, social safety net, and that's the, the basic responsibility of the leadership. This continues to be debated Democrats, Republicans have different views on what the, uh, where, where the social network, where the social responsibility really lies. But one thing's for sure, the community is responsible for its neediest. The community is responsible for those who don't have. The community is responsible when something terrible happens. The community has to at least bring this to the awareness. How do we bring this to the forefront? We have this very bizarre ceremony. The egg la rufa, we break the neck of this calf over a, in a, in a bizarre place. And uh, through this, it shakes the community in, into, into realizing their grave responsibility. The responsibility, perhaps, in the realm of the courts. The responsibility, perhaps, in the realm of each individual and our responsibility towards others. This is a grave responsibility for us. And let us hope that our communities are up to the task, so that indeed our elders can truly say, our hands did not spill this blood. Thank you for joining us here at the Anshay Sephardi Beth Lameth Congregation for our discussion of Parshat Shoftim. Join us each week for the discussion of the Parsha and the various holidays. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.